Hello and welcome to the series where we're going back to the home clubs of England's Rugby World Cup debutants. Now we're here today at Birmingham Mosley Rugby Club which is where it all began for England star Ollie Lawrence. From running out at Bournebrook in Birmingham to now stepping out on the biggest stage in France. We're going to meet the people and the place that ignited the fire in Ollie. This is It Means Everything. Hi everyone uh, at Mosley Rugby Club. Um, I just want to say I hope that you enjoy the game this Saturday. Um, and I also want to congratulate you. It's 150 years of the club's history. Um, it's a huge achievement um, and a massive milestone for the, for the club. Um, I remember my first game um, in, the, uh, in the age group, playing tag rugby at one of the tournaments. Um, being there with my dad um, and friends, definitely some memories that I'll always cherish. Um, so I just want to say on behalf of me and the rest of the England rugby team, thank you for all your support and hopefully see you soon. 150 years of history, I mean you said you've been here for 50 years a bit, what kind of changes have you seen over that 50 years and, and where's the club actually going in the next 50 years? <laughs> Great question, <laughs> uh, I mean obviously w when I started we were really in the, in the glory days and you know, the, the club was one of the best teams in, in the country. In 50 years time I hope that we are still as thriving, as vibrant, as friendly and people still know who Mosley are, and I'm sure they will. It is the lovely thing about this club, is the generational aspect of it. You know, we have children whose fathers played here, their grandfathers played here, their great-grandfathers. We've got some um, historical photos up in the clubhouse which shows uh, people playing here before the First World, World War. I mean, we are 150 years old, and, um, and it is entirely generational. One of our coaches says that wherever he goes now in the area, he's always bumping into people that he's either coached or he's coached their, or they coaches their children. And it has that, it's a lovely sort of family feel, but a generational feel as well. My father, as a Second World War Lancaster pilot and retrained as a schoolmaster, came to Birmingham in 1947 and joined Mosley as a front row forward. Um, years, years later, I joined, joined Mosley uh, uh, as a front row forward, and as we stand today, my son still plays uh, for the club uh, as a centre. So it's a little bit of a, a family business, a little bit of a family tradition. There are so, so many examples of it, you, you, it, it kind of gets in your DNA that you want your family and your um, legacy to be exactly the same. Very proud to be associated with this club and uh, been involved with them for a long, long time. Um, it's good to see what uh, the club bring to the community and the more we can engage with the local community uh, the better and that's very re rewarding seeing uh, the young kids, the ladies, the walking rugby all coming through and enjoying the facility that we have here. But it's about um, being the best we can be and offering rugby for everyone no matter what level you play at. We started a girls section, our first session was last night. Uh, we had a couple of girls down uh, and we're now going to start creating more links with the under nines, the tens, so we can actually generate rugby for all women of all ages across the whole of Birmingham. Because there are more and more women wishing to actually join and play rugby because of the actual the support and success of the Red Roses. You know, our job as a mini and junior section at Birmingham Mosey is just to make people love rugby. That's the first job. We're a community rugby club and we want the kids to just love the game. That's the first thing. But actually to see that there is a path from starting at a six-year-old here at Birmingham Mosley all the way through to the England setup and the World Cup in France is just absolutely fantastic and and we see that throughout whether it's the first team here and the level they play at or whether it's uh, Ollie doing what he's doing for England it is inspirational and the kids it really gets the kids going it's fantastic. Incredible to see me from like six years old to now still with the same people who I started with still in the same team and still working together to try and get good at rugby basically and have fun. Well, although it might not have gone the way of Birmingham Mosley on the pitch today, with 150 years of history behind it, producing multiple international players and lifting the John Players Cup, for some people, there's so much more to this club than just what happens on the pitch. When you come here on a Sunday morning, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, this, the car park will be full, there'll be young boys and girls running around playing rugby, 
Um, you know, it's, it's more than just the first team. There's a very vibrant women's section, very good youth section, mini and juniors. We've got an amateur section and Mosley Oak. And, uh, and then we've got a walking rugby section as well. You know, so it's, uh, it, it's it, there's so many people, it's so vibrant around. And people do want, you know, do want to help out and get involved in things. They, 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 they just become very passionate. And I think that goes for, for lots of rugby clubs all up and down the country, you know, it's, it is one of those sports that's very addictive. Let's have a look at you back then. Look at this picture. I love it. It's absolutely brilliant. And that was lifting the John Players Cup, wasn't it? Talk me through that, that moment. Yeah, that was, I remember that so well because nobody knew what to do. We'd, we'd played 80 minutes. It was a draw. And so we played another 20 minutes of extra time. And at the end of those 20 minutes, we were still drawing. They had to do a cup presentation and Steve Mills and myself looked at each other and said, what do we do? So we both better go up and so we both went up and just shared the cup. At a, at a press conference, we tossed a coin to see who had it for the first six months and we did. So uh, unfortunately, I was able to present it to the supporters and everybody afterwards. The whole rugby club is incredibly proud of what Ollie has achieved, being in the World Cup for the first time but no one more so than his own dad, Mike, who's brought him to this rugby club where he even played rugby. And he brought Ollie down here at just the age of seven to experience rugby for the first time. And even then, he was tipped as a future star. The major time was the in, in under 16 trials, um, which were at Wellington College. And it was the final uh, sort of trials match. And he was doing flicks and tricks. And not only myself, and it was everybody who was there was saying and commenting, yeah, he's, he, this, because they knew the selection was on, they said, oh, he's going to be in it. All through, like his, his Worcester career, once he got broke into the first team, there was just lots of occasions that you thought, well, mm, yeah, that's, yeah, he's got something special. It's a matter of real pride that, that someone has, has started here and you know, is in a World Cup they are kind of our guys and they'll always be welcome here and they will always be a part of Mosley. And obviously he's excelled massively, he was a talented all-round sportsman, a proud moment for the club having somebody like Aurelie Lawrence playing in the World Cup. I think it's really awe-inspiring actually, especially for the mini and juniors coming through and hopefully for some of the women as well to actually see that Mosley does produce international players and hopefully if we can get girls coming through that they might eventually get through into our county and then eventually get picked to actually go in for the Roses teams. I can't wait for him to get out on the pitch. I know he's really excited about, uh, about the game and this whole World Cup. We've worked hard as, as a family and a couple to make sure that um, Oliver had everything he, he's, he's always wanted, everything he needed and this, this last 12 months in terms of how his rugby has gone has been un unbelievable. It's just a dream, it's made us so proud, it's unbelievable. Well, what a day. We've come to visit Birmingham Mosley, a club rich with history, with many generations playing rugby here over the years, and a win for England. But for the people of this club, it really does mean everything.